in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a quickly adjustable indicator rig. Now you use a couple different materials here, one of which is your indicator, which is the most common thingamabobber and one of my favorites. The problem with the thingamabobber is it is not really 100% adjustable. I mean it is, uh, but it really isn't. Uh, once you get the thingamab thingamabobber on the line, like we traditionally do here with a loop to loop, you can't really easily move it without taking it off. Uh, reason being, you have this metal grommet inside of there and as you try to pull this indicator back and forth it rubs against that grommet, cuts up your line and really sticks and uh, is difficult the entire way. Now you can also see here when I have the indicator on the line the traditional way it doesn't really sit on the indicator very uh, parallel. You know it kind of has this little kink with the line here because the line is stiff and then it kind of splays out on each side. So it's not really an inline indicator which means it's not quite as sensitive as it could be. Um, to make it more sensitive, you want to have it in a direct line um, and float kind of on the line, which is what we've done here. We've used some frog hair indicator retainers and uh, put one on one side of the indicator and then one on the other side of the indicator. And you can see there the indicator floats freely. It is also in line. It is perfectly parallel to uh, our line or our leader. So that makes it very easy to cast, much, much easier to cast than tr the traditional way of putting on the thingamabobber, but it also makes it much more sensitive. This will uh, detect much lighter and smaller strikes. So real quick, I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's pretty easy and simple to do. Uh, you can use it with really any type of indicator that has a, a hole like this. Uh, you can use it on the medium size, which I have here. You can also use it on the small size or even the large size. So it'll really work with any um, size of thingamabobber because those uh, grommets and holes are uh, the same size. And this is much easier to do on basically your tippet or the fine end of the leader. So we're going to start with a piece of 4x here. You don't really want to start with the real thick stuff like I did here. Uh, reason being because it's very hard to get those little um, frog hair stoppers on your thick portion of the leader. So when you have a fresh leader, uh, you're just going to want to install it near the tip of the leader. So we're going to need a couple different things. We're going to need our thingamabobber and also our frog hair indicator or indicator retainers. And we want the large size. We don't want the small size. If they're too small, they'll just slide through the hole of the grommet of the indicator. So we want the large size. And we just simply take our tippet and we're just going to slide it through the wire portion of our threader. Then we're just going to simply take the frog hair retainer and slide it onto our line. Basically thread it onto our line. There we go. We have one on our line. So I just kind of pull it into place. Now, these frog hair indicator retainers don't really slide over uh, large knots very well. So we want to have a nice, clean, fresh leader. It's best to install it first thing in the day so we don't have any big bumps or any big knots. Then we just take our indicator and I just take my tippet, slide the tippet through the grommet of the indicator. There we go. And there we go, we have one grommet installed, or one uh, retainer installed there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the threader again, and we're just going to repeat the same process where I just pull on one of the retainers. Oh, and my indicator slid over one of the retainers. Sometimes if you pull too hard, the, you can get the indicator to kind of jump through one of the retainers and to kind of fix that you can kind of squish the retainer together. Sometimes when you pull it on it gets too thin and sometimes you get a grommet that doesn't cooperate with you. There we go. Some grommets are a little bit larger but since there's no tension on this indicator. So when we catch a fish, normally when the line is pulled, when we have the thingamabobber traditionally on the line, it puts heavy tension on the thingamabobber and that's what cuts your line and uh, causes stress on the thingamabobber grommet. But with this, we can pull as hard as we want on this line, but since the thingamabobber is not attached 
to the line really, it just kind of slides and floats back and forth. Uh, it doesn't get any tension or any uh, pull or damage on the line. And then to move the thingamabobber, that's very easy to do. You just simply just slide the grommet up or down, move your thingamabobber, and just slide the, the two grommets together. So it's that easy to, to move and use. Now what else you can do is you can space them out. So uh, that way you can kind of use a, a semi still water rig where that thingamabobber can kind of float in between the two stoppers uh, or the two grommets. So kind of a slick and handy little way to rig a thingamabobber. Uh, I've been using it for uh, a couple years now and it's a very slick handy way um, to just put a thingamabobber on once, have it 100% adjustable throughout the day. Um, it's also easier to cast, it's more sensitive, so it's kind of a, a slick new way to have your thingamabobber attached to your line uh, without damaging your line and making it easier to use. And you can find all the materials to make this, both the frog hair indicator retainers and also thingamabobbers on our website in the riffle.com.